Devin, same thing we talked to, to John about, just the whirlwind of going through the draft process on a plane and now here you are. Yeah, I mean, this past week's been pretty crazy. I'm for, uh, going to Fort Lauderdale for the combine. And then, you know, I actually didn't go to the draft. I, I went back home and watched it with my family. But you know, just now, two days later, I'm here in front of, in front of all you guys. And you know, it's been a crazy week for sure. So what happened at your house when your name got called? Uh, it's actually on camera. My girlfriend was filming it, and my whole family just started screaming. And, it was really exciting. It was, uh, it was a cool feeling. Jason talked about the experience that, that you had previously with the club and, and just really how impressive you were. That being said, how high are your expectations now, knowing what he has said about you and your ability? Um, I mean, my I'm I'm just coming in to work hard and you know fight for a chance to play and you know help help the team accomplish its goals. Um, that, that's what's most important at the end of the day. But, you know, I'm really happy to be here because uh, I was over, I was here over the summer, and you know, I really enjoyed it here, and I, I loved it, and I was I was hoping that they would pick me up, and when they did, I was extremely happy. What does it mean to you? Not only that they drafted you, but that they you know made some moves so that they could get ahead of the draft. Yeah. Take you. No, it, it's uh, it's kind of hard to describe. I just feel like I have to. Prove myself and you know work hard and you know, um, you know, make, make sure it's worth it. You have like always said to use the authentic and original mind position. Is this okay? Uh, sorry, I don't. With the nine position. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, yeah. That. I guess I'm the number nine. I'm always played. I've been playing center forward of, like my whole career. So. You know, I hope I get to play that here and, and do my thing. So as a number nine, you know, a guy kind of in that hold up striker mode, you know, big, uh, big physical guy, you have one of the best in the world in Salvarillo also here. What's it going to be like for you playing behind a player like Salvarillo? Um, that's one of the things I'm looking forward to most because uh, I get to, you know, learn from one of the best players in the world and the best players in the league. So that, that's that's going to be big. Um, I'm really looking forward to that. You're coming into a team that's fairly established in most positions, except maybe the striker. I mean, does that does that present you with like any sort of hope about opportunities this season? Uh, yeah, a bit. But you know, I'm not not really thinking about that too much. I'm just focused on you know going into preseason and working hard and you know, just proving myself. First thing you have in the concentration is to cut the hair. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> Save Don't. us is hope for you. <laughs> Be careful about who you get on elevators with at camp. No, nah, I've heard I've heard <laughs> some stories, so, so I'll be careful for sure. With the diversity of the fan base in Salt Lake City, can we expect to hear a little more Spanish out of you? Ah, uh, yeah, I hope. I, I need to learn some. Some <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Bienvenido. So, so we'll see, hopefully.